Our guest tonight is a very funny man who's given us laughter and joy, and now he gives us a guide to success. His new motivational audio book is called The Decision. It's available now on Audible. Please welcome Kevin Hart. Hi, Kevin. What's going on with you, man? You know, Kevin, you got a serious microphone. You got serious headphones going on. You've got paintings of comedians behind you. Who's behind you there? What do, what do we have? I got, we got Richard uh, Pryor. You got some Richard Pryor. That's Bernie Mac, Chris Rock, Red Fox. Uh, on another wall, I got Eddie Murphy, Chappelle, Martin. Um, I got Seinfeld, Carlin. Wanda Sykes is on one. I got a lot of them. Do you ever have comics come over and then they notice they are not painted on the wall and they are insulted? Uh, I was talking to Ellen and Ellen noticed and uh, I lied and I said, <laughs> you are on the other wall. You can't see the wall that you're on. So that that's the only time that it's gotten She's on our idea. underpants. That seems like enough, yeah. doesn't it? <laughs> By the way, over the weekend, you did something fun with your family. You posted a couple of pictures. You guys camped in, uh, or in the backyard. Did this take place? Yeah. Yeah, man. We did a little, uh, a little camp night. I said, look, there's right now you got to be creative. We got to come up with some other things to do. So yeah. we ordered some, uh, some tents, put the tents up. We got sleeping bags, the whole nine, and uh, we didn't make who, it. Who put the tents up? Who? You know what? <laughs> who assembled the tents? I'm not going to lie tent. to you. I'm not going to lie to you, all right? <laughs> I would love to sit up here, Jimmy, and say that I did it. I would love to lie, but I can't do that. I can't, I can't live with myself after if I lie. So my security, my security helped with the tents, which means that they, they, basically, they basically did most of it. But I did a lot of it. Me and the kids, okay. we, we held down the, you know, the strings and ropes so that they could put the stakes and stuff in. It was a team effort, but the security did the heavy lifting. How long did you last? We were in the house by 1, 1, 15, <laughs> 1 15 in the morning. It, it got a little, uh, it, got, it got cold out there. Here's the thing. I fell asleep. I was sleeping in the tent. I could have went the whole night. They woke me up, and they were like, hey, Dad, uh, you know, since we're not doing that, we're just sleeping. Can we just go in the house? And I was like, no. That defeats the whole purpose of the whole tent in the backyard. We're supposed to make it through the night. And it was like, yeah, but we're not up talking. Like, can we just go in? How's your wife doing? Uh, She's pregnant, right? How pregnant is she? She is. Almost six months, man. Baby number four. Number four she... family of six. Wow. That's huge. That's a that lot. Is. That's a loud, that's a very loud house, Jimmy. That's a very <laughs> loud house. That's you might have to that. sleep out in the tent by yourself. How's she, you know how's she doing? She's excited, man. She's, you know, it's a... Uh, I think it it almost got the best of her for a minute. She got a little cabin fever, um, but you know that's that's when I gotta tap in and and do my job and make sure that her spirits are high, make sure that she feels beautiful, make sure that we're as active as we can be in and around the house and just being creative. So from quality time with us and the kids, movie night, taco, making some tacos, game night, uh, doing various different TikToks. Uh, talking more, having some deep discussions, getting to know each other. You just gotta, you gotta really just use your time wisely. And I think that's how you get through this. And you come out of it with a better understanding and feel for each other, um, and and love love one another at a, at another level. See, Kevin, this is why I think it is, makes perfect sense that you've written this book about success because you do put things in very plain terms and you make. You get, I actually feel inspired now to maybe set up a tent and stay in it for two hours with my children now. You, you have to. <laughs> I got to get some security guys to help me. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us about your new book. This book is an audio book. Yes. Yes. It's, uh, it's an Audible original. It's called mm -hmm. The Decision. And uh, it's, it's, it's something I wanted to do. I mean, look, I just wanted to give information. I think in today's time, we lack information because, you know, if it's not asked for, sometimes it's not given. And I don't think that's fair. I think success is is something that a lot of people want, but they don't know how to obtain. And with successful people that have reached certain levels that are able to go and just give the story and tell the tales of how and what and why, it adds an added level of ammunition and go get to others. So I said, I'm just going to give it. 
I'm going to be transparent, and this isn't a do what I do moment or live how I live. This is a lens that I'm putting up for you to look through and assess things and see if it works for you or not. I'm just showing you that it's proven. Kevin has chosen the charity tonight. It's Feeding America, feedingamerica.org. It's a great charity. And also, I want to ask about something in the book. You've, you've coined some, some terms, some terminology, some phrases. What is what isness? What isness? Oh, yeah. What is this is a good one, man. First of all, what I do very well is I take a word that's existed for a long time and then I put my spin on that word, right? Okay. So what what is this is things that have existed for so long. And and rather than saying what if or what could or what why, you put a what is. What is this? I can make it what I want it to be. I can turn things into what I feel they can be if I'm true to what I am. Learning me is the ultimate goal. And when I know me, then I'm able to move accordingly and, and determine things as I feel I should. But if I'm not comfortable with me, then I can't be comfortable with situations because that means I'm not comfortable with change. I got to be willing to change me and fix me first. So what is this comes from me understanding how to fix myself. And what worked for me was developing what I like to call what is this. Kevin, I feel like Oprah's going to find out that you're starting to step into her territory and, um, <laughs> and eliminate you. You have to be careful. All right. Kevin, when we come back, Kevin, of course, is from Philadelphia. And when we come back, we are going to surprise one of your big fans. She is a healthcare hero, if ever there was one, in Philly. Wow. And we'll do that a little surprise with Kevin Hart when we come back. Jimmy Kimmel, live. <laughs> this is ridiculous.